Hi hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a zonal statistical analysis using SHURPS data, that is our rainfall data in Google Earth Engine. So now let's get started. So now let me explain about this uh, SHURPS data. So the SHURPS here defines a climate hazard group infrared precipitation with the station data. So here you can able to visualize the description here. So the climate hazard group uh, infrared precipitation with station data is a 30 years a global rainfall data set. So the SHURPS uh, incorporates a 0.05 degree resolution satellite imagery with the in-situ station data to create a gridded rainfall time series for a trend analysis and seasonal drought monitoring. So now to access this particular data, we have to uh, use this set of codes here. So in order to access this uh, data here. So now let us check, uh, check out the different bands that is available in this data. Let me click this. So here you can able to uh, visualize we have a, a band that is a precipitation band. So it has a resolution of around uh, 5566 meters. So it is has a very high, uh, it has a resolution of 5566 meters. So now let me get back to our Google Earth engine. So here we're going to perform a zonal statistical analysis using the SHURPS data. So we're going to identify an average uh, rainfall data for the specific study region that is China. So to load our country's boundary layer into Earth engine, we defined a variable called countries equals to double dot feature collection USDOS LSIB simple 2017. So the variable ROI equals to countries dot filter double dot filter dot EQ so the country name. So it defines the country name. So the country name we had done is uh, China. We're going to visualize our uh, average rainfall for the specific country called China. So uh, to add this layer, the country boundary layer of uh, China, we can define map dot add layer ROI defines our region of interest and the curly brackets uh, that represents the default visualization parameter for our country boundary layer of China and output the layer name as China. And to center the specific layer, we define map.center object ROI for the zoom level of 4. So next we have to insert our shrubs data into our earth engine. So to uh, insert the data, we define variable shrubs equals to w dot image collection UCSB CHG shrubs pen date dot select. We're going to select the precipitation data. So likewise, I shown it earlier here that we have the bands that is we have a precipitation band in, the, in this particular uh, data. So we are uh, selecting that particular data called precipitation and dot we are filtering with a specific time period from 2030 that is a 2023 January 1 to 2000, 2023 December 31st. So now we're going to reduce the image collection to one image. So we're going to reduce the image collection to one image by summing the 365 days of uh, raster data. So reduce the image collection to a single image representing the sum of uh, precipitation over the specified uh, time period from uh, 20, uh, 2023 January 1 to 2023 uh, December 31st. It creates an annual uh, precipitation uh, raster. So for that we're going to define a variable called annual shrubs equals to shrubs dot reducer doubly dot reducer dot sum. So we output the layer to not to visualize the uh, details of this particular uh, layer that is our annual shrubs we define print annual shrubs and uh, next we're going to define a visualization parameter so to create a visualization parameter we define a variable called this so the this here represents the word visualization parameter being setting a minimum value of zero and a maximum value of 3500 we are setting a color palette starting from the lowest level of uh, rainfalls being indicated in the specific uh, color and the highest level of rainfalls being indicated in this color so let me show you that and uh, let me uh, run the script let me click run so let us visualize the color combination here so this is a specific uh, study region we have selected here so here you can able to visualize uh, towards the the southern part of the china you can able to visualize is a uh, significantly a lower uh, lower level of uh, rainfall has been observed in this part of the study region compared to the northern and uh, northern uh, western and northeastern part of the study region has a higher level of rainfall compared towards the southern part of china you can able to visualize here the red yellow which indicates the the lower level of precipitation that is our rainfall for the specific study area and the blue here indicates the high level of 
higher rainfall so which is indicated in dark blue and light blue color you can able to visualize and the moderate level of rainfall has been indicated in green color so now uh, to add our map we defined uh, that is map dot add layer and will dot shrubs dot clip so roi region represents our region of interest the region of interest is our study region that is china which is in indicated here and this which represents our visualization parameter for our layer so which is represented here the variable called this is set to a minimum of zero and to a maximum of 3500 and the color combination we are these are the set of colors we are used to represent the the rainfall variation in our study region so uh, in this video has shown you how to perform a zonal statistical analysis using shops data in google earth engine and we have used a specific study region called china to visualize the the overall uh, pre precipitation of this uh, specific study region from uh, 2023 january 1 to 2023 december 31st so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like